What's the way, y'all? Uh, it's your boy, and I'm back. I'm about to show y'all how to put some flames over a mic for your mic performance music videos. So tap in and let's get right. First things first, I'm gonna need y'all to jump over to Action VFX or Footage Crate and go get y'all a fire asset so y'all can get started with this tutorial. So now that you have your fire, just put it to the side. And right now, I'm gonna look for things to mask out before we start to track this mic. So as you can see, his uh, little uh, cigarette thing and his fingers are covering the mic. So for those couple frames, I'm gonna make a mask around the tip of his fingers and his cigar. Once you make your mask and you refine the edges, I want you to go and get mocha, put it on your first clip, and then just make a mask around your mic. Once that mask is done, just save it, come out, and go to tracking data and create track data. Once you do that, just make a brand new null. Once you add the null layer, just click your main footage, and then just layer export to the null and also set your export options to transform and just apply the export. Now go grab your fire asset. Then you wanna press P on the asset. Also press P on your null. Take the pick whip from the fire asset and put it to the position under your null. And now you see your flame is moving along um, with the clip. So now all you gotta do is transform this using the anchor point. So just click your fire asset and hit A and just move it around. Also, you're able to mess with the scale because there's no keyframes on the scale. You can also click the chain to scale it in the X and Y axis to really make it fit. So now you can clean this up by applying a couple masks that kind of shape out the microphone. Also make sure your mask properties are on subtract and don't forget to feather them. And as you can see, I'm stretching out my mass paths just so I could cut out any excess flame. I'm just gonna speed this up because I made about three masks. All right, my brother. So now I want you guys to make a new adjustment layer as well as, uh, well, wait, let me organize this. Let me name my flame, a uh, flame. <laughs> and then let me add that adjustment layer and let me name this heat wave. And then I'm gonna add the effect from universe, heat wave. So now when I get this heat wave in here, before I even do anything, I'm gonna make a mask around it. And then I'm gonna track it to the null. And I'm gonna do that by uh, hitting P on my keyboard, taking the pick whip and attaching it to the null's position. Now all I gotta do is drag down my mask and we got some heat. Now you could just copy these settings right here that I got on the left side of my screen. now I want you to come to the fire layer and just add an optical glow. And on that optical glow, change the export and the alpha. Then I want you to bring down the amount, bring up the highlights only, and up the size a little bit. You should come out with these results. Now you want to come down and just change the blending mode of your fire from none to screen. And if you feel the need to, you can change the color of this by adding the hue and saturation, or you can even add curves. You feel what I'm saying? You could honestly do what you want with this. But yeah, this was another one of the requests that I got from somebody up in the DM. If you want me to show y'all how to track fire assets to a full scene, let me get a hundred likes on this video. And I got y'all with that. Other than that, besides that, I got more tutorials coming for y'all the whole rest of this week you feel what i'm saying up until the 29th so uh like comment subscribe and i'm gonna be back tomorrow with another one peace